Finally, after months of rumors and a lot of waiting around, AMD has finally shown off what their lower priced Ryzen 3 lineup looks like. Not only that, but the new processors are also coming with the new B550 motherboards and I actually think they are just as exciting as the processors themselves. Why, you may ask. Well, it's all about blending the Zen 2 architecture into an affordable and modern platform that has future technologies built in like PCIe Gen 4. I think that's going to be a really important element for many people moving forward. And given the global situation, many people are turning towards gaming as a way to relax and enjoy the quarantine somewhat. But many cannot afford the whole X570 platform and want something a bit more future-proof and feature-rich than the B450, which is why this whole announcement with Ryzen 3 and B550 <laughs> B550 are so important in the current state of things. And so let's start things off with the Ryzen 3 series because we know a lot more about them than the actual B550 motherboards and the processors look amazing. And I'm not faking my excitement because the previous Ryzen 3 CPUs were only available with integrated graphics like the Ryzen 3 3300G or through OEM channels like 2300X. But now it looks like AMD saw the real opportunity to introduce something a lot more affordable into the retail channels. So starting off with the Ryzen 3 3100, this is the lowest priced four core eight thread CPU around. And best of all, it costs just $100. I'm pretty sure with these new Ryzen 3 CPUs, We'll see a lot more affordable, super capable editing and gaming machines moving forward. Moving up to the 3300X, it gets higher base and boost speeds along with a $20 price bump, but it uses the same 4 slash 8 layout. And if you're looking for something else than the next highest end Ryzen CPU that isn't with integrated graphics, here we have Ryzen 5 3600. It has 12 threads and the price of $200. And one interesting thing to take note with these new Ryzen 3 CPUs is that they have two less cores than the 3600 but only have half the L3 cache. The TDP of these is also pretty low at just 65 watts, but I also need to mention that TDP doesn't really mean power consumption because they're super efficient seven nanometer CPUs. So their actual power needs may be lower than the TDP would have you believe. Now, the biggest question here is how these new Ryzen 3 CPUs stack up against Intel's offerings. And so right now the Intel lineup has a pretty big price gap between the $75 i3-9100F and the $150 i5-9400F. And you can actually see how AMD is playing the game by positioning the new Ryzen 3 CPUs right in between so the Intel CPUs almost act as bookmarks. Actually, not bookmarks, uh, bookends, yeah. And technically, this new Ryzen 3 lineup should offer better value than Intel because PCIe Gen 4 support and higher uh, memory speeds, plus they will ship with the Wraith Stealth CPU cooler. But there's another thing to consider here, and that is Intel is rumored to launch the Comet Lake S desktop CPUs. So other than Zen 2 hitting super affordable price points, I mean, who knew? It's a fantastic business move that comes just at the right time. It puts a ton of pressure on Intel's supposedly new lineup before it's even launched and an eight thread CPU for $100. Yeah, I'm on board, wow. But it'll be interesting to see if Intel responds with lower price points but I mean, it's Intel, so most likely not. All right, now what about these new B550 motherboards? Because we don't have much information, more information on the CPUs than motherboards, but I really wanna talk about what I'm hoping for. AMD has already confirmed that B550 will support PCIe Gen 4, which isn't super important for graphics card right now, but I'm really excited for access to super fast Gen 4 NVMe SSDs on an affordable motherboard. And look, I totally get that these new SSDs are not cheap, but they will eventually drop in price and having this forward compatibility for really fast NVMe SSDs on a B550 motherboard is a good deal. This gives you an opportunity to build something with the B550 motherboard now with the expectation to potentially upgrade uh, some of the SSDs in the future without feeling like the motherboard is obsolete. And one of the biggest questions right now is like how much would these B550 motherboards cost? Because you could find some affordable X570 motherboard options right now that will fare well with the Ryzen 3 CPUs. Hopefully the B550 will hit the same price point as the B450, but we don't know yet if the B450 is forwards compatible with the new Ryzen 3 CPUs or they'll be discontinued. We'll see. 
And the only questionable thing about this whole launch is that AMD is staggering their announcements and actual release dates. So they announced the 3100 and the 3300X and the B550 motherboards, but you'll be able to buy the CPUs on May 21st, which is great, but the new B550 motherboards go on sale on June 16th. A little desync there. Because I think we can all agree that the new Ryzen 3 CPUs and the B550 motherboards will be an amazing affordable combo, but them not launching together is a bit weird. But either way, this is a really exciting announcement from AMD. The Ryzen lineup is just getting better and better. Budget gamers will get more cores and threads and you could potentially build something really powerful and affordable and allocate the normal budget that you would spend on the CPU towards the GPU where it actually matters for games. And I think that's the most important takeaway with these new Ryzen 3 CPUs, giving us good horsepower at the core while not completely uh, like blowing off the budget that you could spend on the rest of the system for a good horsepower editing or gaming machine. And that is a win for everyone, my friends. All right, guys, make sure to check out this other relevant content. Let me know what you think about this new announcement. And yeah, I'll talk to you in the next video.